masterclass is a hundred and eighty dollars a year which if you break it down it's only fifteen dollars a month but still a hundred and eighty dollars for one class I don't know when else does a professional actor especially of her caliber share so much about their acting experience and technique and what they do um, so this is a really cool opportunity and I really hope that more actors do this I took Natalie Portman's master class about acting and I found it really helpful so I'm gonna tell you today who I would recommend it for some of the information that's in it of course I'm not gonna tell you exactly what was in the video this class was two hours and 37 minutes and also came with a workbook and in general Natalie Portman talked about what works for her and she said this at the beginning that she wants to share what works for her to see if maybe it also works for you so I'm gonna tell you who I think would benefit from this and if it's worth the money so first of all $180 just for one class that's pre-recorded for and it's two hours and 37 minutes no, I would not recommend getting masterclass only for this class. It just doesn't make any sense. You could spend $180 on a live workshop where you get feedback one-on-one, -on -one, where you can explore your acting, like actually practicing and get professional feedback. You could get your money's worth, but make sure that you're taking the other acting classes, like the comedy classes, the voiceover, um, the other courses that you can learn from even if they're not directly acting classes like the writing classes improv comedy all of that so you could get your money's worth i don't like that you can't just subscribe monthly like skillshare you know you could do monthly instead of annually i am the type of person that i will take classes for a month or so and then i will move on to the next thing or i'll be too busy and i won't be able to take them so i would much rather have it monthly and i would subscribe to master class and take more if it was monthly i was actually able to do a one week free through a um, an actor through a facebook group uh, they had a free week and i was like i'll take it and i took this class natalie talks about her perspective and the things that she does so how she breaks down the scripts she talks about um, working with green screen imagining that there's creatures there and just imagining the whole world around you that was really cool to see i've never i've never taken a class or just heard of anybody um, talk about their experience with green screen working with different directors communicating with them and my favorite thing about this entire class was the sample scene you've probably seen it on the trailer for the actual master class but they had a scene that they set up specifically for this class and she just walks around and tells you what she's thinking of um, you know her character in that particular scene she had just found out her boyfriend broke up with her or um, cheated on her and so you know maybe she's gonna smash some stuff so she talked to the props person and was like what do we have replicas of what is smashable what can I destroy what can I spill what am I allowed to do what am I not allowed to do that was really cool because as a theater actor and in general for continuity when I am acting on screen or on film um, I'm usually super careful about what I touch because I don't want to mess anything up but as humans you know we touch things we grab things we drink out of cups so why wouldn't we do that when we're acting, right? To make it feel more real. And you know, filmmakers work really hard on getting it all set up. So talking to the DP and asking them, how close can I get to you? Where am I okay to go to without ruining the shot? That is so important. I never thought of that. I don't know why. I usually just take direction and I'm like, okay, I can go here, here, and then I think I'm good. But helping the camera see things, asking how far you can go, really important. Natalie Portman also talked a bit about using costumes and props and makeup and physicality, all of these things in order to learn more about your character and be able to play that character or that person more authentically and really um, get to know them and, and not judge them for who they are, but really accept who they are and be able to portray them better. She did share how she breaks down scripts whenever she gets one. Um, and of course, just like, you know, everybody else, every uh, script is approached differently, but I've never done it the way she did it. Now, actual acting um, lessons within this master class, if you're an absolute beginner, she doesn't delve that much into like discovering acting. So I would definitely recommend this class for somebody who has already taken like a discover acting class or a beginner like level one acting class. If you've already delved into you know acting i think this would be a really cool 
um, additional resource or additional place to find information of how an actress like her um, does the work that she does. But she also gives you a few exercises on how to look at actors that you admire, watch their films and learn from them and see different things, even if it's like a dialect if you want to, because she also talked about her experience and using a, a dialect coach, which man, I wish I could get a dialect coach. And the dialect coach that she brought onto the course did also give some tips on how to practice different dialects and um, like resources so you can get better at it. Towards the end, she also gave some general tips about the industry and auditions, but very, very little as far as that goes, which is why I would suggest this acting, well, that's one of the reasons why, but this class, this master class, I think would be a little too much for a very, very beginner actor. Like if you are just thinking about getting into acting, you don't have any experience, you're never taken a course, this might be a little too much. Maybe you should wait to take this class. I would recommend this to somebody that has maybe already taken like a Discover acting class or a level one acting class because they show you different techniques to continue um, exploring your acting. So it just it just seems like some of this you you should know a little bit about acting and then this will help supplement what you already have and explore different ways to express yourself don't put this on your credit card be good with your money especially if you're an actor or you are looking into getting into acting you need to be good with your money because uh, sometimes you'll get a job and, and then sometimes you won't get a job for months and months and months so let me know what you guys think if you end up taking this class. Of course, I recommend in-person classes so you can get some one-on-one -on -one feedback and really, you know, get good at acting with a professional teacher that will help you and see how you're progressing and how you're doing. But um, I mean, it doesn't hurt to explore and learn more from books or films or YouTube or master classes. But thank you so much for watching. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video and leave me a comment.